A family says their little dog suffered while in the care of Dallas Animal Services, and we want to warn you here, the pictures are difficult to look at. Uh, his body was covered in ticks, and as Jobin Panicker reports, the family's complaint has now prompted the city to take action. Anybody who knows Reggie knows. This is just so unlike him. Like Lindsay said, I've never seen him sleep this much. This 15 year old terrier mix hasn't moved much from his favorite spot. He was just always my dog. These last couple of weeks have been hard. Reggie bit a family member on a July 4th night. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. He had to be quarantined. Here at Dallas Animal Services, but it's the way he returned 10 days later. The second I got within arm's reach of him, it was very obvious that he was covered head to toe. It was terrifying. Covered in ticks, pictures that'll make you squirm. Lindsay rushed the dog to a vet. Hundreds, if not a thousand, was the exact quote unquote word. The city investigated and found that dogs in 30 of the kennels in a quarantined area had ticks. Reggie had three different kinds, still being tested for Lyme disease. I know it's a simple way of saying it, but it, it's it's just sad. It just so happens Reggie was a rescue from this very place eight years ago. It kind of came full circle in a very weird way that that's where we adopted him and that that's where all this horrible stuff happened. The city says it's cleaned up the kennels and now put in new policy that every dog that comes in will get tick preventative medicine. Reggie is now on round the clock medication, pain meds and antibiotics. And as you can tell, a whole lot of rest. Joe Paniker, Channel 8 News.